हेलो वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ कोर्स ने पेट तो दिस इज बेसिकली द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लास्ट वीडियो वेयर वी आर लुकिंग इन टू स्प्रिंग डेटा जे पी ए रिलेशनशिप्स तो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लुकड इन टू वट एक्जैक्टली इज द रिलेशनशिप एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड लुकिंग इन टू द टाइप ऑफ रिलेशनशिप एंड फर्स्ट टाइप वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट इज वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप राइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप्स तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ फन वीडियो सो सेट बैक रिलैक्स एंड इंजॉय द शो and let's jump into the agenda so again we have similar kind of agenda so we have seen relationship between entities we have seen type of relationships and we have again seen one to one mapping over here right now in this video we are going to cover one to many many to one and many to many mappings so in the last video we have seen applicant and resume entities so in this video we will add few more entities to it in order to look into this particular mappings one to many many to one and many to many right let's get started and look into one to many and many to one mapping over here right so now our applicant and resume have one on one mapping right now what we need over here is we may need another entity so that our applicant and that particular entity may have one to many mapping right we have applicant we have resume now let's say we have application table right we have application entity so our one applicant can apply for multiple applications right so there may be multiple application open so your applicant may apply for multiple applications so he have multiple applications now right so that is one applicant to many applications mapping right so what i will do over here let me just add a applications table so there we go we have added this applications table where we have id status position applicant id right applicant id is basically foreign key and uh, which is a id inside your applicant table so one applicant can have many applications now so let's give that kind of mapping over here so there we go so your one applicant can have many applications right so means one two star star means many right so that means one two many mapping right so it is one two many mapping over here so one means one star means many right so that's how we read our entity relationship diagram right without wasting any time let's quickly implement this right so what i will do over here i will go back to our editor and what i will do i'll create a new entity java class let's say application and i will mark it as a entity and what i will do i will add few fields over here so i have first added id status and position what else we added over here id status position and applicant id right so i will create object of applicant so it will be pretty similar to how we created inside resume so I, what i will do i will just copy this the entire thing probably and uh, i will paste it over here and i will remove all these things and we will write it from the scratch now right so we know that this is going to be one to many mapping right so we'll just mark it as one to many so let me go back over here and here what i will do i will add so i have created this field which is applications right because each applicant can have multiple applications that's why it is list and in this case it will be one to many mapping one to many right in this case it will be one to many mapping because we have one applicant and many application right but in the other case in application when we look into application is one to many correct that is a question is one to many correct so let's go back to our diagram over here now if you see into applicant we have one applicant with many applications right so that is correct but when we look into applications we have many applications which can be associated to one applicant right because this guy is applying for many applications so we have we can have many applications which is associated with one applicant so if you see we have star 1 over here so it should be many to one mapping when we look at this angle right so it is many to one for applicant it is one to many right but for applications it is many to one so for applicants it is one applicant can apply for many jobs but but many applications can be associated with one job right it is kind of confusing but if you understand it it is very straightforward right So when we add a association inside applicants, it should be many to one, right? So if we go back over here, then it should not be one to many. Rather, it should be many to one. And again, one more thing we can add is application ID, which is join column over here. So that's it basically. So now what I will do? I will just create a getter and setter quickly. What I'll do? I'll go to getter setter. I'll select all and I'll say okay. That should create all the getter setter for us. now what i will do i'll just add this boilerplate code over here which is resume controller service and repository right i have added this particular application repository where I, again i am extending with 
JPA repository, nothing new. After that, I have added application service, which will store our application. After that, I have added application controller, which will store our application, right? Now, what I will do, I'll just run this code. Let's see what happens, right? So, let it come up. So, that should be it. Now, what I will do, I'll just add this application API over here and I will just modify the body accordingly. So, let me create it quickly. If I go to application, we have status and position, right? But now this application is for which particular applicant, right? So that we are not defining over here, right? So what we need to give, we need to give applicant ID over here as well. So I have modified this API accordingly. So what I will do, I'll, so I will accept applicant ID as well over here and pass it to save application. And here first we will get applicant by using that application ID and we will set it to this particular application. And after that we will save, right? Okay, the app is started now. So what we can do over here, we can first add our applicant, right? So let me just add an applicant. So we have added applicant now. So what I will do, I will go back to this particular applications and I will pass that applicant ID over here. And if I send it now, then you will see that we have this particular ID. We have developer position. So this is basically the application template that we have and we have our applicant and within that applicant, we also have resume, right? That is basically how it is working now. And we also have added one to many mapping over here as well, right? Inside applicant, we have added one to many mapping for this particular application. So let's complete it now. I'll quickly add mapped by, so I'll say applicant, right? And we will add cascade type, right? So that everything will be cascaded properly, right? So now what we need to do is first we need to rerun this application. And while we add our applicant, what we need to do, we need to add our list as well, right? Our list as well, we need to add now. And what is the name of that list applications right so applications and we need a list so applications and we need a list in this case so what we will have first so we'll only add one application for now and in that application we have two things right so the things which we have added over here so what i will do i'll just copy it and i will paste it over here instead paste it over here and let me just beautify that a bit so it should should look good right so now we have applications over here as well. Now if I send it and again we are facing same problem. What problem? We are not getting it in the output right. Why we are not getting? Because we have not added getter and setter over here right. What I will do? I will say command n. I will go to getter setters and I will add this getter and setter. Let's rerun this code. So that is running now and let's send it. Again, we got the error, right? Again, we got the error. So let's see what exactly is the error. So again, we are getting same problem over here. It is saying not null property references a null transient value. So this time, you know how to fix this, right? So let's go back to our applicant service and over here. Now we need to map this to two things, right? So what we'll do over here, we will say applicant dot get applications right so i will just get it in a local variable which will be a list now we need to iterate through each application in this applications because we are now passing a list and now we need to set this applicant to each of the applications right so that we are not getting any error right so if you see over here we have this nullable false right so each applicant should be mapped before saving right so that should resolve the issue now let me just stop and rerun Now, are you forecasting another problem? So let me send it over here. Again, same problem, right? So we are getting this infinite loop that we got the last time. Again, you know how to fix that. So here you need to add a JSON ignore annotation. Once you do that and rerun this code and send this back again, now you are getting it just fine, right? It is working properly now, right? So all well and good. So that is basically our one to many and many to one mapping over here, right? So we have seen these two as well. So let's go back over here. So one to many and many to one we have seen, right? It's basically vice versa, right? So this is one to many or many to one like that, right? So let's move to the last one now that is many to many, right? So this is basically interesting now, right? So we will learn few new things over here, right? Let's go back over here. And again, in order to define many to many relationships, we need to add one more entity, right? So let's add one more entity. For example, let me add one. For example, let's say we have job, right? So let's say there is a job and many applicants can apply for that job, right? There is some kind of job opening and many applicants can apply for that job, right? And on the other hand, 
देर कुड बी मेनी जॉब एंड एप्लीकेंट कैन अप्लाई फॉर मेनी जॉब राइट अगेन वन एप्लीकेंट कैन अप्लाई फॉर मेनी जॉब एंड वन जॉब कैन बी अप्लाइड बाय मेनी एप्लीकेंट्स राइट सो इट इज मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग राइट नाउ हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन दैट ओवर हियर लेट मी जस्ट एड दैट क्विकली तो देर वी गो नाउ वी हैव एप्लीकेंट तो मेनी एप्लीकेंट कैन अप्लाई फॉर मेनी जॉब और मेनी जॉब्स कैन बी अप्लाइड बाय मेनी एप्लीकेंट्स राइट सो दैट इज काइंड ऑफ अ मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग बिटवीन एप्लीकेंट्स एंड जॉब राइट नाउ लेट सी हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दिस राइट सो इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस इज बिट ऑफ अ ट्रिकी थिंग राइट नाउ हियर हाउ कैन वी डू दिस राइट सो लेट से देर इज दिस जॉब राइट नाउ दैट जॉब कैन हैव मेनी एप्लीकेंट्स सो इट विल बी काइंड ऑफ अ लिस्ट राइट एंड लेट से दिस एप्लीकेंट सो दिस एप्लीकेंट कैन अप्लाई फॉर मेनी जॉब सो दैट अगेन विल बी लिस्ट राइट एंड मोस्टली वेन इट कम्स टू मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग इट इज एडवाइजेबल टू क्रिएट अ सेपरेट टेबल वेयर वी कैन स्टोर द एप्लीकेंट आई डी एंड जॉब आई डी राइट सो दैट टेबल विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस वेयर वी हैव एप्लीकेंट आई डी एंड जॉब आई डी दैट मीन्स एप्लीकेंट वन हैव अप्लाइड टू वन ओ वन जॉब एप्लीकेंट वन हैव अप्लाइड टू वन ओ टू एज वेल एंड देर इज एप्लीकेंट टू हु इज अगेन अप्लाइड फॉर वन ओ वन सो वन ओ वन हैव टू एप्लीकेंट्स सो इट कैन बी ड्यूप्लीकेट फील्ड हियर एज वेल ड्यूप्लीकेट फील्ड हियर एज वेल राइट दैट इज समथिंग न्यू विच वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू ओवर हियर नाउ लेट मी क्विकली एड अ जॉब एंटिटी ओवर हियर सो लेट्स गो बैक टू कोड एंड वट आई विल डू आई एड अ जॉब एंटिटी सो देर वी गो आई हैव एडेड इट सो इफ यू सी ओवर हियर इन द जॉब आई एम एडिंग अ मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग बिटवीन दिस जॉब एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेंट सो दिस विल बेसिकली बी द लिस्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेंट्स बट इट विल बी मैप्ड समवेर एल्स सो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन डू दैट सो वॉट वी कैन डू वाइल वी आर एडिंग इट इन साइड अवर एप्लीकेंट सो हियर वॉट आई विल डू एल एड अ न्यू लिस्ट ऑफ जॉब्स नाउ बिकॉज अ एप्लीकेंट कैन हैव लिस्ट ऑफ जॉब्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी विल डू इज मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग राइट मेनी टू मेनी मैपिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू मेक यूज ऑफ एट द रेट जॉइन टेबल वाई जॉइन टेबल नाउ बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ अदर टेबल एज वी मैंशन ओवर हियर राइट द अदर टेबल विल बी लेट से समथिंग लाइक दिस विच विल हैव एप्लीकेंट आई डी एंड जॉब आई डी राइट सो वी विल से जॉइन टेबल एंड विल गिव सम नेम टू दैट टेबल वट विल बी द नेम लेट से अंडरस्कोर जॉब राइट आफ्टर दैट वी विल गिव जॉइन कॉलम टू जॉइन दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेंट आई डी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल गिव इनवर्स जॉइन कॉलम्स विच इज बेसिकली द जॉब आई डी विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम जॉब राइट दिस टेबल विल हैव टू फील्ड विच इज एप्लीकेंट आई डी एंड जॉब आई डी राइट दिस इज बेसिकली द नेम दिस इज बेसिकली द कॉलम विच इज रेफरेंसिंग टू एप्लीकेंट एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द कॉलम विच इज रेफरेंसिंग टू यूर जॉब राइट सो दैट इज हाउ वी डिफाइन इट राइट नाउ लेट मी क्विकली एड अ जॉब रिपोजिटरी ओवर हियर सो दैट विल एड इट फॉर अस अगेन सिंपल स्टफ सो दिस टाइम वी विल क्रिएट दिस गेटर सन सेटर्स अप फ्रंट सो दैट वी डोंट गेट दैट पर्टिकुलर एरर वट आई विल डू आई विल क्रिएट इट एंड हियर ऑल्सो इन साइड जॉब वट आई विल डू आई विल क्रिएट गेटर सन सेटर्स राइट सो देर वी गो सो फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम वील क्रिएट इन दिस केस नाउ हियर आई हैव एडेड दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉब रिपोजिटरी अगेन सिंपल स्टफ आफ्टर दैट आई हैव एडेड अ जॉब सर्विस where i am injecting job repository and applicant repository so here i am just using making use of create job and it will just save the job after that we have add job to applicant right now so what we'll do we'll get applicant id and job id so what we will do we will add this particular applicant to this particular job right right so first we will create applicant and job separately then we will assign this particular applicant to this job right and we have respective job controller as well so here we have a controller to create a job and here what we have we have add job to applicant api as well and we have few other get apis as well right so what i will do i'll run this application stop and rerun and i will go to our postman and let's add a applicant first so oh, it should be started by now so let me add a applicant so that will add applicant for us but if you see over here we have jobs empty because this guy is not applied to any job yet now we'll create another api let me just duplicate this tab and what i will do i'll create a job now so in job controller i'll say api slash jobs and we need to create right so we need to pass a request body so what is there inside our request body title and description right so what i will do i'll go to this particular body and i will update this body to something like this right so title and description now if we send it so we have created a job as well but this job do not have applicants now so we need to make use of other api that we have over here so i'll again duplicate this so this time we don't need any body and what is our api to map our job to our applicant so let's go back to our job controller 
we have this one right what i will do i'll just add it here and now what we need we need couple of parameters right so as we are getting parameters over here applicant id and job id right so what i'll do i'll just copy applicant id i'll give applicant id as one and i will copy job id as well from here and give job id as one as well i hope that was one so it is one one right what i will do i will just hit this and there we go again we are getting it in infinite loop so again we need to add json ignore so i will go back over here to job and i will say at the rate json ignore right now i will go back again and i will add this applicant i will go over here and add our job and i will again map this particular applicant id to job now if you see this particular applicant id is mapped to this particular job right so that is how you can implement it right and now if we go back to our h2 console and if we see our database again and look at our job table then you see there is one job and if we see applicant now and run this then we have this particular mangalam Srinu. and main highlight over here is this particular table basically applicant jobs so if we look into it then you'll see one applicant is applied to one job so this is basically the another table that we have created from here if you remember if we go back to this applicant then here we have created it by using join table right so this particular applicant table is created for us right so that is basically how many to many mapping works right that is basically many to many mapping for us right so again it will be represented by star to star so it is many to many right so we have seen this many to many mapping as well right so we have seen all type of mapping so i hope you have fair understanding of what are relationships inside jpa if you understand it clearly this is a very very easy topic if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they are also aware of jpa relationships that's it for this video see you in the next video